Well, let's uh, let's uh, get you guys to ask some questions. Uh, what, what's your name? Hi, I'm Hey, Soph. You already mentioned Dave McKee, which made me think of something that I thought of ages ago. Um, is he the inspiration behind using like textures and stuff photography in your art? No, that. not really. I think so Ashley Wood probably was. I think I your live channel or something that you use like, stock photos. Like, That's how he gets the noses right. <laughs> Maybe That's it's stock photos. Gets. I have a couple of, well, I have quite a few. I have, you know, I have gigs worth of photographic reference and a few things. But I draw stuff first, but then I yeah. drop it back into, but slightly into things like in Photoshop. The realism yeah. back I had a habit of using the same. Well, the nose is in, ends up being the only bit left that I don't like airbrushy out yeah. a lot of. So, and it's usually the one. Yeah, one I picture of the front on that I use with the nose. I photo refer reference yeah, that cover. So I drew that from photo reference first. I don't normally do that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, no, but I don't normally do that. Normally I draw the picture and then I find whatever reference might fit it as opposed to making sure the pose is right from a photo and then dropping anything back. But for covers and stuff, I pay more attention to that to make it a little bit more realistic. So Baroness cover, I did that. Any other questions? Yes, mate, what's your name? Uh, Olivier. Olivier. Um, the question is just more about the, the kind of difference of inspiration of some of the books. I mean, some of them are just your own. Like you say, some of them are just coming off film. Mm -hmm. Some of them are really just coming from actually no video games, like the, the Dead Space. Is there actually just a difference into the kind of material that you actually just get? Because movie, I mean, there would be a a huge kind of uh, canon be behind it. Well, it but depends on the movie. But for, for video games, for example, are you just, you know, also as restricted or not? Yeah. Or just thinking yeah, you are. And there's more money involved in computer games now anyway, so there's usually more serious, depending on the property. But when, when you, you're talking about, you know, Mad Max and just kind of clicking, just say, well, why don't you do a Fallout 3, you know? Yeah, well, Fallout, yeah, Fallout. I'm a huge fan of Fallout as well. I think there is a comic uh, they did a Fallout, at least one, yeah, I think, yeah, by Dark Horse. Yeah, I would have loved to have done Fallout comics. I'm just a post-apocalyptic nut. But, um, well, with computer games, you just got to keep it consistent with the style of the, the game or the storyline, depending on the storyline, but that's not my deal because I usually just draw them. But, um, yeah, I mean, with computer games, there's a lot of con concept art they do before they make the game. So I, when I worked on Dead Space, they hadn't put the game out yet, so I was only going on... And the comic was set before the game, so it was different stylistically anyway, but they gave me a whole bunch of reference that they were using for the game as well. And I saw a bit of the game before they, as they were making it. So they showed me like rough bits and all this stuff. So it was much more intensive visually because I needed to get things right because it was for the game and the game plays all about how things look. So, so there was- You are actually having already a kind of set style compared to- Well, they, they employed me directly because they wanted to give it a 30 days a night look as well. So it all depends on the job as much. But um, yeah, comics, um, computer game comics, you probably have to be as mindful or more visually on some of the stuff. It was more work than just doing it on my own, on my own thing of how I wanted stuff to look. So, but it was fun to do. I don't know, that was one particular job I can give experience from. Another one was I did a comic for a game that they actually ended up delaying the comic, uh, the game because they liked the, the, the way I'd done something on it. So they changed the graphics slightly but they never put the comic out, so no one knows. But I won't even say the name of the thing. Oh, it was like going to be a freebie comic anyway, but they ended up, I got paid, I don't care. Yeah. But um, yeah, that, that's like a funny thing that happened too. So eh, it depends on the job. Does, does that kind of thing happen uh, often? Where no, that was the only time that's ever happened. Yeah. So. That would be frustrating. Do, do, you, yeah. do, you, do you lose the ability to put that artwork somewhere because they've paid Well, I can't it? publish it because they... Yeah, yeah. And you I don't think they could actually publish it either. There were some rights issues with it. Yeah, right. Only in a sense that they couldn't make money from it. They could use it as a giveaway. Yeah. But they couldn't, they didn't have the license to actually, you know, charge money for it. So, but either way, I did the artwork and the thing. But, um, is that frustrating in a way to know that you've done all this uh, artwork that people don't get to see? Not really. Because no? it was, you either do jobs for yourself or you do them for money. And that was a, a sweet And that point. was one's like, this is, I don't own this thing. They're paying me X amount to yeah. draw what they want me to do. That's fine. Because you know that they're going to do what they want with it afterwards because they own it. It's yeah. not your baby. Yeah. So you can't be precious. Yeah. And I don't care. Oh, you know. It'd be nice for people to see stuff, yeah. but I got paid. That's it. Yeah, but there's a small school of people. I mean, it's very flattering to me that because um, I have apparently some sort of style to a degree, at least in the way I use color. It's all my, in the teeth. And my shitty, shitty house, <laughs> shitty drawings. But yeah. um, 
I mean, people that try to emulate that in a, in a way, and you can see that for most people, and but they're not the same, but you can tell they've come from a certain stylistic background where yeah. I or some, several other people may have been influences on them, and that's nice. Yeah. But um, yeah, usually I'm employed directly for the way I treat things a bit, so I don't have to adapt as much to things as some artists might have to, because people are employing me because they know what, what I can, how I draw things already, which yeah. is a little more fucked up than some. Yeah. <laughs> So. Sorry, I, I, I said I was going to. I saw someone's hand go up. Uh, one more question. Come oh, on. Sorry, what was, you want to say? When you are writing your own, or doing your own books, yeah. writing and drawing, is the process of writing separate to the art, or do you. Yeah, it's completely different. You, you put on one hand and then you put on another. Is it well, I write like a plot first. All right, here we go. It's technical. Um, I do a plot first, which is just like a basic rundown of what the hell I want the story to be. Then I cut that up into how many pages it should be so I can make it fit and then I thumbnail the whole story out and then oh actually no I tell a lie uh, well the plot points and then I, I write pure dialogue nothing to do with the plot so I just and it's all like random dialogue in my head in a conversational way because it's usually dialogue based because I don't write stuff that's you know not that hopefully um, and then I just thumbnail it all out and it's so there's never actually a script there's two loose bits of information and then I put it together in my head via the, the thumbnails and then I just go straight and draw it. And then the only re point I have to do up an actual vague script is where I literally just type out for a letterer what the, each character is saying in each panel and just give that to the letterer. So you don't get a proper full script or anything off me. It's much more organic that way. So, because it's all in my head. Well, something's in my head anyway. <laughs> All right, well, uh, before we uh, finish up, can we have a round of applause for Mitch, Troy, and Dom, and all the guys that work behind the scenes? Thank Central you, All Star Comics. And uh, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more of these uh, kinds of things. But, uh, and thank you, Justin. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but big uh, round of applause for Ben Temple Smith, and we look forward to seeing your stuff uh, coming out in the future. I do too. Thanks.